Hello and welcome to the Saltwater Report. I'm Bill Hitchcock. It is December 17th, Wednesday, and we have a special report to get out to you. We just had a cold stun event here along the coast of North Carolina. The photos that you're looking at were taken by the Divisional Marine Fisheries staff member, Jackie Deegan, yesterday at Queens Creek in Onslow County. Now, generally speaking, cold stun events affect speckled trout when water temperatures go below 40 degrees. And our latest sea surface temperatures show that the deeper waters of Pamlico Sound, Noos River, Pamlico River, and Albemarle Sound are around 46, 47 degrees. But the shallow creeks and backwaters will get much colder. And if you observe a cold stun trout event, please report it to North Carolina Marine Patrol at 252-515-5507 or to division biologist Lucas Penzinger at 252-515-5638 again. Those pictures that you've just uh, seen were from yesterday. They were taken by the Division of Marine Fisheries staff in Queens Creek, which is in Onslow County. We uh, showed you the, the, the map of where they're at. Please email me, billhitchcockatmail.com, billhitchcockatmail.com, if you have cited uh, a cold stun event, regardless of the type of fish that it is. Now, I do want to bring this up that during the winter, speckled trout often move into shallow creeks, rivers, and backwaters to feed. That's normal behavior until a sudden cold snap arrives. And as we all know, the past couple of three days, we've had, you know, 25 degree uh, air temperatures here along the coast and very strong winds. Cold stun events happen when water temperatures drop rapidly, especially below 40 degrees. Again, that's water temperature. And stay cold for several days, which we just had. Shallow waters cool fast. Strong north or northwest winds strip away heat and limited tidal exchange leaves trout with nowhere to escape. Now, by the way, this is really speaking specifically North Carolina. That's why cold stun risk is highest across the Outer Banks in Pamlico Sound, elevated along the central coastal uh, area during strong cold fronts, and more localized in southeastern North Carolina like the Cape Fear. When trout uh, become cold stun, they may lose balance, float, or become sluggish. And this is where anglers need to be careful. Do not handle cold stun trout. Handling adds stress and often kills fish that could recover once temperatures rebound. Now, of course, during a cold stun, sometimes the fish are dead. Sometimes they're just laying there and sometimes they're just in shock. Sometimes they're just cold. So just let them rebound. Do not attempt to rescue or relocate them. Moving fish between waters can cause additional shock and increase mortality. And do not harvest trout that appear stressed or incapacitated. Cold stunned fish may already be dying from physiological stress. Their immune systems are compromised, internal organs may be failing, and bacterial growth accelerates as the fish weakens. Even if the fish is still alive, it may not be safe to eat. And again, if you observe a cold stun trout event, please report it to the North Carolina Marine Patrol at 252-515-5507 or Division Biologist Lucas Pensinger at 252-515-5638. And if you got pictures or video that you can send in of a uh, cold stun event that has just happened, Email me, BillHitchcock at mail.com, BillHitchcock at mail.com, and we'll get that information out to you. Now, this has been a special report of the Saltwater Report. We will resume our normal programming tomorrow, so stay tuned here to YouTube.